Now that we are working on lightly bow, we're gonna work on using a quick bow and a slow bow. So we're gonna do this motion. We're gonna go quick, quick, slow bow, quick, quick, slow bow, just with your bow, no violins. This is a silent practice. Ready? Go. Quick, quick, slow bow. Quick, quick, slow bow. Quick, quick, slow bow. Quick, quick, slow bow. Last one. Ready, go. Quick, quick, slow bow. So when we're playing lightly row, we want to use quick bows and slow bows. So the first two notes, E, C, those are quick, quick, and then C, slow bow. So it goes quick, quick, slow bow, quick, quick, slow bow, quick, 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 slow bow. Let's see if my bow could do it. Watch for the slow bows. Count how many slow bows I play. How many slow bows was it? If you guessed three, you were right. Now try it with me. Try playing quick, quick, slow bow, quick, Quick, slow bow, quick, 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 slow bow. All together, first line of lightly row. Ready, go. Good job, this is perfecting lightly row. We're really working on fine details now. Let's do it one more time. Quick, quick, slow bow, ready, go. The second line is different though. It goes quick, 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 slow bow at the very end. Second line is different. It's quick, quicks the whole time until the very end. Let's do the second line. We should only have one slow bow in the whole line. Ready, go. Let's do it again. All quicks except one slow bow at the end. Ready, go. Nice, and if you want a really big challenge, see how long it takes you to get from the frog to the tip. You want it to be as slow as possible. One of my students did 30 seconds the other day. See if it can take you 30 seconds to go from the frog to the tip. Like that. So, so, so slow. I'm not gonna do it on camera because it would take too long. But you can do it by yourself. Try a super slow bow and tell me how long you made it. <laughs> 